There are many memes out there that are funny, with a variety of punchlines. Like a simple Minecraft meme where the punchline is something related to Minecraft. We did it, Reddit! Or schizo memes being the punchline being something out of a murder confession. And I want to kill other people. Or maybe Toddy's memes being the punchline is that his memes aren't funny. Okay, you got me. Metro booming, make it boom. Metro! But there is one form of memes that's punchline have been done many times that it isn't funny anymore. Memes where the punchline is just porn. Hentai. Whoa, what is that? Kroom, kroom, kroomer! Or sexual in the windows. That's, uh, that's the joke. It's softcore porn. Which I'd like to label as coomer memes. If you manage to understand these coomer memes and their inside jokes, then you'd be labeled as a man of culture. Whatever the fuck that means. A man of culture is someone who gets hentai references. And this woman is from a very famous hentai called Itadaki Seiki. Do you know what a hentai is, Batman? Most meme creators are teenagers, and that's understandable. Imagine still making memes even though your teen years are over. <laughs> Couldn't be me. And what do teenagers do when they're not making memes? Well, their hormones go up and do some stuff that would demonetize the video if I say it. Anyway, they love doing these things to the point where they incorporate that in the memes they make. What the hell? Deep fried feet? No shit. No, no, no. Oh my god, young man. Kill yourself! A subcategory of these memes are the dreaded, uh, hentai memes. So, hentai is basically drawn or animated porn. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'd ever explain hentai to thousands of people. Anyway, hentai memes are the most popular form of coomer memes, mainly because weebs are chronically online and is the main demographic of hentai. You are a worthless bitch ass nigga. Hentai memes have always the same jokes. Cropped hentai where the genitalia is barely showing. That's the joke. Inside jokes and bait and switch. So, ladies and gentlemen, in this segment, we're gonna do what PewDiePie did in 2017. Review memes and unintentionally made Reddit look worse than it already is. So, we're gonna review hentai memes. First up, r slash porn. 1,600,000 members. Can't you do something about your superiority complex? r slash hentai. 1,700,000 members. But I am superior. Jesus Christ. So the joke here is that cartoon porn is superior to real porn. That's, that's, that's the joke. When you're watching hentai, then you hear the Bluetooth speaker downstairs moan. I, I ain't saying that. Current objective, survive. So, uh, the joke here is that the shit he's watching has like incest on it. So the joke here is incest. That's, that's the joke. It's incest. Oh my goodness, what is this? So, uh, oh my goodness, it's huge. This, oh my Jesus, this is an adult sandwich it's uh I'm, I'm going to fucking kill myself after this so the joke here is that there should be like a male shaft around here but it's edited to be a sandwich it's an inside joke okay next up if you come to my house tonight i'll give you this profit uh times 200 so can you guys guess the joke if you guess pedophilia then you are correct that's the entire joke. Pedophilia. Me reading my class appointments. You can all disappear. Me reading manga. 
Okay, what the fuck is this shit? Look, I don't even know what the joke is. Is this even ironic? Oh my days. Makes an anime reference. Entire family is confused. My sister gets it. It was a hentai reference. She says... I'm not, I'm not saying that. I am going to um, kill myself tonight. So guys, what was the joke of this meme? If you guessed uh, pedophilia and incest, then you are correct. I, 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 I think that's enough hentai memes for one day. Is, is that a tumor growing in the back of my head? I, I think I can feel something squirming in there. What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got gooneritis. Really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Another form of Coomer meme is the bait and switch meme. Here's how it goes. First, a scene from a porn, hentai, or softcore animation is playing. Then a wacky character from a wacky series interrupts it and says something wacky. Trusted you. I thought I could too. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? It's done to death so many times. Get it guys? This character is preventing you to watch this porn any further. Look, it, it was funny back then, but with how many variations there are, it just doesn't hit the same anymore. Yeah, the plain cheese pizza with extra pepperonis? Yep. Trying to see my pepperonis? Huh? You just got toddy trolled. Share this to your friends to toddy troll them too. So here's a bit of a sleeper pick. Memes where the punchline is a porn star. Look, I believe in equality. Just because hentai addicts and people who jerk it to cartoons are getting ridiculed, doesn't mean people who watch real porn with actual people aren't an exception. Memes where the punchline is just a porn star usually goes under the radar. Mainly because these memes are prominent on sites whose demographics are usually fossils and people with a certain complexity. Okay. Do not read him! Do not read him! Do not read him the card! What? Do not read him the card! The inside jokes for these memes are usually the same with hentai memes. And that is if you recognize someone, a location, or the certain colors of a certain site. then you're a man of culture like them. In other words, you're a porn addict such as them. These porn stars know how popular they are when it comes to memes, which is why we got Johnny Sins and Belle Delphine, or any other OnlyFans girls for that matter, capitalizing on the fact that they're porn stars. So not only do they contribute to these degenerate memes, but they also get money from it. Bruh. Money power spit, nigga. It's money set. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get money, nigga. Yeah. Hold on. The money go with ego. Smoking on gelato. And finally, let's talk about something controversial. Gay porn. Take everything I said on this video from inside jokes, crop porn, and other shit and change it to gay porn. That's basically what I'm talking about here. Dreamy Bull. <coughs> Tug Hunter and erotic barber memes were prominent a year back. The punchline is that it's crop gay porn and zoom bombing important meetings. Okay, maybe that one was kind of funny. But the one I want to talk about is how people turn gay porn as shock value. Like people who send gay porn, people who base their entire personality into fucking fanboys, and people who make the punchline of bait and switch memes into gay porn. Now, there are people out there who make ironic memes out of these. 
or just know or dabble into porn or hentai as a joke. Like Markiplier, for example, who played the Hunipop games, a series of hentai games for the funny. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy- But how ironic can you be that it doesn't cross the line of not being jokes anymore? Well, for one, do not take it seriously and to not do it too much. Like the moment you take it seriously and make your entire personality to ironic porn memes, then it isn't a joke anymore. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. Just take it easy, okay? Now, I'll admit, Coomer memes are funny. <laughs> I find some of them funny. And I made memes like the bait and switch memes from several years ago. And some questionable anime ASMRs. What do you think I'm doing? Honorable singers. You're staring like all class. Penny X. I swear. Your cock was hard the entire time, and everyone could tell. Metro Boomin make it boom. Classic. What the hell that be? Oh. Every day wear thigh highs, you get hard for hours. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? In the end of the day, doing it too much will make it not funny anymore, and will just make you look like a degenerate coomer. Keep it subtle with the humor, and stop jerking it to drawn porn. You're making people who draw them richer than the average doctor or lawyer. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, Master. I'll tell you everything. Bubby's in heat and she dreams about you. Breeding her. Oh, call the blind. Embarrassing. <laughs>